Hello, so welcome back to another video. So in this video we are going to carry on with the menu system. So obviously we've got all these icons that we need to get out of the Photoshop document and somehow build a menu system. Now looking at the actual design you can see all the different icons and if you look at the first icon which is the home icon you'll see it's got a nice sort of shaded effect around the outside of it. So that effect will be when you move your mouse over that will then light up uh, and show you that particular icon. So the way we're going to do this is we have to copy each of these icons into a separate document and create something called a CSS sprite. Now a CSS sprite uh, is like a collection of images. So I'll show you what I've done so far. I've actually had to prepare this before because it took me about an hour or two to do this. If I just turn the background on so you can see what's happening. So looking at this document here, you can see we've got two rows of the same icon. So you might be thinking, well, what's the point of that? But the ones on the top are slightly different because they've got that nice glow effect on them. Uh, so the way it works, you have all the icons here in the normal state. So when you're just looking at the icon, you'll see the icon. But when you roll your mouse over this this icon, it will swap, the, swap this image for this image at the top. So it's taken me, like I said, a good hour to create this. So I'll show you roughly what I did um, and I'll make this uh, file available so you can download it. So then your icons are exactly the same as mine. So if I just create a brand new document, so file new, and the dimensions of mine is 1280 by 720, 72 for resolution, and I've got a black background. So that's that. So if we go to the Photoshop design, so what we need to do, if we zoom in, and first of all, we're going to get rid of this because we'll add this in later with some uh, jQuery. I think will be quite nice for that. So we're going to remove that and also the actual uh, speech bubble. So we've got that section sorted out. Then we're going to click on this first icon and it'll bring you down to the layer over here in the layers panel, which is layer one. And you'll notice it says FX next to it. So that's the nice sort of like shadow is added on the outside. So click the drop down arrow and then we'll just click the I symbol next to effects and that will take off the outer glow. So that's now the same as all the other icons. So now we have to go through the process of copying each individual icon out of the design and into the new uh, document. So we, if you come over to layer one, hold down your control key and you'll notice that your cursor turns into a little hand with a little square box on it. If you click on the, on the layer on this icon, you'll now see that it's selected the image. And then if you either go to edit and copy, or if you want to do it the shortcut way, just do control C, go to our new design, our new page, sorry, and then just do control V to paste in the icon. So that's the first one. So like I said, it's a case of now going to the next one. So to deselect this one, hold control and D, that's now deselected. Click on the next icon, it will go to layer two. So again, hold down the control key and click on the actual um, image icon here and it will select it. So control C, so on and so forth until you've got all the icons out. And then the final one which is layer nine, again just select it all, control C and then just drop it in over here. So we've now got all of the icons ready to go. So if we just zoom in, we now need to space them equally apart. So, so if you come up here to your rulers, if they're not actually there, if you hold down Control and R, that will turn them on and off. And then just drag a ruler down. So we're going to just drop it there. So, so we've got a marker to line them up. So the first one, I'm going to place like that. This is just a rough guide. As long as they're roughly on the line, we'll, we'll straighten them up later. Again, bring this one down. Okay, so they're pretty roughly the same. So we're going to zoom in now to get a closer look. Now, if you look at some of these icons, they've pretty much got the same folder look and then they've got like an icon attached to it on the front. Okay, so we now need to bring down another ruler and then we're going to line that up right onto the bottom of the actual folder itself. 
and then this one is going to come to the the bottom that protrudes out from the folder so we've now got two lines so now we can go along the order and make sure that the all sit perfectly so I'm going to click on this icon and just nudge it up slightly in fact I'll leave it like that so it's all in line and then come across the next one and again they all look quite close to the line so that's okay and then just come all the way along so as you can see with this one we've got a problem because the the globe is actually coming underneath the line which is going to get chopped off if we're not careful so if we click on the actual folder and nudge it up to about there so then this one hasn't actually got anything that protrudes lower down but we still need to move that up so it keeps in line with everything and then the final one again that doesn't have one either so we'll nudge that one up okay so if we zoom out you now see we have all of the icons um, with the two lines so the next thing we need to do is we need to select all of them so if you click on the top one hold down the shift key and click on the bottom ones so we've now got all seven selected we want to click and drag and then let go on the layer icon here next to the recycle bin okay that's now created a complete duplicate of everything here and with them all still selected hold down the shift key and then use the arrow up key and you'll now see you've got another perfect copy in the exact same position directly above now so bring it up quite a bit to about here okay so if we just zoom in the next thing we're going to want to do if we go back to the Photoshop design and then just deselect that last one with control D click on the first icon we need to turn that effect back on so we can see it so if we double click on the outer glow we just want to bring it down slightly because it was a bit too big when I was uh, sorting it out earlier on so we're going to bring it down to about 15 and then click OK then we're going to do right click on layer 1 and hit copy layer style if we come back over to the, the design here make sure you still got all these selected if they're not selected just click on number 7 layer 7 copy hold down shift and click on layer one copy right click and do paste layer style and you'll now see if I just zoom out slightly every single one on the top has now got that nice glow effect and they're all perfectly in line with one another so the next thing we need to do is add in a couple of guides on the top and the sides so if I just zoom in slightly and if we look at the very top so I'm going to drag a guide which to be roughly above the the glow effect you don't want it to be cutting into the glow effect otherwise it won't look right so we've now got that sorted out the next thing we need to do is just add in the dividers so we then split them all up so again grab in a guide from the left this time and let go grab another one to the other side so we've now created our first sprite so again we're going to come along and drop a couple of more guides like that keep coming along now the reason why I'm creating these CSS sprites is because it saves on uh, the page load time uh, if you have loads and loads of images all trying to be loaded it's obviously going to take a little bit longer now uh, because we're combining two images inside of one image uh, the page load time will be quicker so again I'm just coming along just quickly doing this like I said you can download the actual one I've created uh, so it's all the same and then drop that one on the end so if I now just zoom out like that so that's what I've that's what we've created so far so if I show you what I did earlier as you can see it's very similar um, so now once you've created that the next thing you have to do is come over to the slice tool and we're going to slice out each portion so I'm going to zoom in so I'm going to click here, drag down, and then let go. So if I just zoom in just to show you what we actually did there. So the slice is coming from the bottom, underneath this little bit that sticks out, all the way up. And that's now created one full slice. And then I double-clicked on that earlier, and I called this nav link 
one. So if I zoom out a little bit, and again I came over to this to the next one, did exactly the same. Double clicked on it, and I called this nav link two. So I went all the way along and renamed them to nav link one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And then the final one will be nav link seven. Okay, so if I zoom out, so we've now got each one now has its own individual slice. So the final thing you have to do is get rid of the black background. So if we come down to the very bottom of the document and just untick the background layer, it's now all transparent. And we do file, save for web and devices. And make sure PNG24 is selected and then click on the first one, hold down shift, click the second, click the third, click the fourth. And then hold down the space bar to move along. And then hold down shift again to get the rest of them. That's all of them selected. Click on save, and then obviously you need to for the slices. It needs to be selected slices. Don't actually go into the images folder. Just click save, and that will save them all into the images folder, ready to be added into Dreamweaver. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now. Like I said, you can download that file, um, so you've got everything exactly the same as I have. Uh, and I'm going to create the next video and show you how you actually add all that into Dreamweaver and create a menu system. So the final thing just before I go is to let you know that I've actually got my own website now called www.mattsaundersmcp.co.uk and over here I add, in, I add more tutorials that I don't add to YouTube uh, so there's more videos on here so I've created five new ones so far. I've got a Photoshop one here for reflective and glowing text. Um, what is the CSS box model so more HTML and CSS videos. Um, some more layout tutorials and my latest one is where to download professional icons for free. Uh, I've also got the forums over here so please register, uh, leave any comments on the videos uh, and I'll catch you later.